Right now at EAA, the Air Force's Thunderbirds are about to perform their first full show ever at Air Venture. This is a live picture from Oshkosh. The Thunderbirds are scheduled to start at 5.15. That's in about 10 minutes. Only a select number of people get to fly in one of the F-16s. But Fox 11's Emily Deem got a special opportunity. Yeah, the one that brings back memories from 26 years ago at Outagamie County. Today, though, Emily has the story that she fortunately flew yesterday, weather-wise, and she has more on the honor from Oshkosh. So today you're honoring Thunderbirds, so where wow. are we It's a day I'll never forget. Pretty cool. All right, congratulations. Thursday, I got to experience the ride of my life. But before any of this stuff happens, it takes a lot of prep work. Start to hold, start to squeeze. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Good. Like Stop. learning the proper way to breathe when you're 17,000 feet in the air. Pull it down, then tighten it back in place. Getting your helmet to fit just right. One, two, three. And making sure your mask is on nice and tight. One, start the top, work your way down. Then it's time to meet my pilot, Wolf, or Thunderbird number seven. We're all in the sky. We're going to bring the jet all the way around. We go over a few moves before heading out onto the tarmac. Pull the straps down. Perfect. We get suited up. Right here, and a quick picture with my name on the jet. One of the best parts of the flight is takeoff. So we did a quick climb where we pulled six and a half G straight into the vertical and we climbed up to 17,000 feet. We went about 75 miles to the north into airspace that was blocked off just for us to fly as free as we wanted. We went through uh, different things from the G warm up to make sure the body's ready to pull G's. And then we did a barrel roll and an aileron roll and got you exposure to different uh, forces of gravity as we did those maneuvers. An experience that captures the world in a whole new perspective. Before I knew it, we were coming in for a landing. As you know, what we did today was pretty spectacular, but we would not have been able to do it had it not been for every single person uh, standing back here who made our, safe, our flight safe and possible. With that, we got a quick presenter to you. Hey, thank you for coming out. A memory that will last a lifetime and one I won't soon forget. Thank you. In Oshkosh, Emily Deem. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Fox 11 News.